Hello, Minecraft server developers. My name is Awesome Dante. Today I'm going to showcase a wonderful plugin called Fake Block by Husky. Fake Block is a plugin designed to restrict access to certain areas with invisible walls. These walls can be made to look like any block to players without permission to pass through them. Let's go ahead and try it out. In front of me, you will see two signs. These signs are not part of the plugin, they are there simply to show where the walls will appear. In my case, I have two walls. Each one is for a different rank. Since I have permission for both walls, they are invisible to me. However, if I were to remove permission for wall number two, like so, you will find that the wall appears in front of me almost instantly. Let's go ahead and remove permission for wall number one. You will see now that if I do not have permission for either wall, both walls will become solid and visible to me. Now let's do this in reverse, adding permission to make wall number one invisible. You will see that the wall does not disappear right away. This may be due to technical limitations. However, if you simply relog or walk away, far away and come back, the wall will disappear. Really? There we go. You'll, if you'll notice, the plugin also hides blocks. You can see this if you examine the grass where the wall is supposed to be. When it is visible, the wall overwrites the grass, which I'll show you here. At the beginning of the video, the strip was just straight grass. When a wall appears, it'll overwrite the grass. When this wall disappears, the, the grass will come back. This opens up a whole new range of possibilities for using this plugin. It's absolutely brilliant. This plugin can be used in many ways. I can see this plugin being used to create completely hidden locations, toggleable builds, and even, and bear with me on this, even allowing you to turn complex builds invisible to certain players to make lag go away. A plugin like this can be used in conjunction with many other plugins, such as multi-command. Um, that's a batch command executor. Basically, it means that instead of manually removing and adding permissions to make walls visible and invisible to certain players, you can have a command that will run and execute all of the uh, permission commands to a certain player, allowing them to remove, mm, I'd say, any amount of walls that you really want, really, um, all in one command. So I can do slash remove walls, and as a player that can use that command, it will remove all the walls that I've specified in that command. But in either case, this is just food for thought. This plugin has the potential to revolutionize RPG servers by enabling, let's say, drop gates. Let's say if you had a server where you had a castle that you had to go through and it had a gate across it, you could make the gate look visible to players who don't have permission to enter the castle, and it'll look like a regular opened gate to players that do have permission. Now, if a player were to look at you while using this plugin, and you walk through a wall that you have permission to, but they don't, you will, they will see you walk right through the wall. It looks like it's no clip. So for that reason alone, I would highly recommend not using this on faction servers, as faction servers tend to have players that really squeal too much. They'll be like, oh no, you've no clipped through this wall, ban, ban, ban. Other than that, this plugin is perfect for other servers that are looking for a unique twist to their gameplay. Um, this can be used to access, I don't know, donator shops, pretty much anything. Anyway, thank you for your time. Again, my name is Awesome Dante. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, download this plugin and try it for yourself. Before I go, however, let me explain the configuration. 
Okay, the configuration is very simple for this plugin. All you need is a little bit of know-how, and I'm here to give that to you. Now, go ahead and pause this video and open up the config. Okay, now that you've opened up the config, you will see a uh, very small, very small uh, amount of configuration that needs to be done. You'll see default and data, and then walls and list. Now, default and data is uh, information for your first wall. You can name default anything you'd like. Um, just be sure to add it to the list on the bottom. The data, however, is what seems to throw most people off, so let me explain it. Data should have at this point one, two, three, world, one, two, three, and then probably 42 or some other number at the end. Let me explain. The first group of one, two, and three is the coordinates for the first corner of your wall. Think of it as a world edit cuboid region. You are putting in the coordinates for both corners of the wall into this plugin through the configuration. The first group of one, two, three is your first coordinate. World is the world that you'd like the wall to appear in. And the second group is the coordinates for your other corner of the wall. It should be one, two, three as well here. Now the last number at the end is the ID of the block you want the wall to simulate. So 42 would be an iron block and 57 would be diamond block. Adding walls is as simple as copying the default wall over and over again. And you'll see default, data, default, copy, data, default, copy, data, whatever. You can add more and more walls. You just must add them to the walls list. When you are done editing the config, simply restart the server. There is no built-in reload command at this time, but I assume that there will be. There's one last feature that I uh, didn't go over because it doesn't work with my version of the server, but apparently if you do slash FB set, you will set the coordinate for the first, um, first corner of your wall, and then you can do the same thing for the other corner. I do it manually, but um, if you're running the correct versions of the server and the plugins, you may be able to use this command. Anyway, awesome Dante. Peace out.